This is Matrix Lord 212. Sorry about the beard, or am I? Maybe I should grow one. Anyway, talking about Doctor Who, um, it's funny how I covered the news a while ago about Doctor Who that Jody, like I said over a year ago that in 2020 she would be given a contract extension. Uh, and then months ago, I did a video showing that she got the contract extension and she signed it and she would appear in series 14. Now, others had reported that she was going to be in series 15 and I said, no, series 14, because series 15 is way too ahead uh, for her to make that type of commitment. I said this, people immediately uh, went after it, attacking. I had one guy that just couldn't accept it so much that he started a war with me on Twitter and then YouTube and everything. And he pinned a tweet of his in nine parts tackling every single thing I said in the video, which at the time was he was a friend. And that's not what a friend does. But the funny, hilarious thing about that now is that if he still has it pinned on his Twitter... He looks like an asshole <laughs> because it's all coming true. And series 14, the 60th, it's all there. You've been bashing me so much and going against the Matrix Lord 212 bandwagon that you actually promoted that I was right. So karma is sweet indeed. Yes, it is. So, again, I just hope that um, Chibnall resolves this timeless child nonsense because I hate it. And it's destroying Doctor Who. And he's wrecking Doctor Who. So, I really hope that he trolled fans to Chris Chibnall. And it's baloney. And the Doctor is not the timeless child. We can only hope. And I pray. And why they're doing a timeless child thing on Doctor Who Day is beyond me. It's embarrassing. They shouldn't even be doing that. It's a disgrace. Do not disrespect who, baby. Don't. Don't disrespect the doctors that came before. And don't try to make it like your doctor is better than anybody else's doctor. Okay, that's my main concern. I, I don't blame Jody at all. As every I've said it constantly. I don't blame her at all. I blame... Chris Chibnall for a lot of this nonsense. And then we got these YouTubers out there that try to be the main person when there is no main person. And they try to go after so many different YouTubers to be on top. And in my case, they pin a tweet ripping my stuff to shreds. And now it's coming out that it's all coming true because you got more confirmation when it was hidden the news before. That it was confirmed. Now it's coming out. And supposedly Jody went on a radio station saying, I'm doing another season after this one. Well, thank you, Jody. So there you go. Uh, it's sweet, sweet victory. And I have a feeling that if that person, because he blocked me, if, if that person did have a pinned tweet of my stuff, probably he'll, he'll remove it immediately because he doesn't want to give me attention that I'm right. And again... I'm right. All right. Take care. Bye for now.